Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave. Today we're playing Atba Golf. Sorry for the glare. Pro Golf board game. And where this is a continuation of the game we've been playing. We're playing on the Metro DC Golf Course. We're using Greg Norman, Todd Watson, and we're starting hole number 10. I think this round will go holes 10 through 14. So um, this hole 10, as you can see, it is a par three, 218 yards. And it's got this huge lake here in front of it. And this is difficult. You gotta make sure you can get over this and that 205 is right where everybody likes to hit the ball. <laughs> so we gotta get it over the, we gotta get it over that. Um, so we'll see what happens. So we'll get ready here to uh, kick this thing off. Okay, so here's our scorecard. Uh, last hole, nine was a par five. Uh, Norman parred it, and so did Watson. So we're heading into hole number 10. So we go here, reset hole, transfer hole, hole 10. Right, and a 12, so no wind. That's good. So we'll go control Q. And Watson starts us off. So we know he needs to hit 212. So he's probably looking at his wood, which is a four. And a three iron will get him 205. And a five wood is going to get him 230, which is too long. So he's got to try this 205. Like I said, oh man, I don't think the 205 will get there. Oh, brother, what do you do, right? You don't want to lay up. Yeah, there's nowhere to lay up. <laughs> you got to hit this ball. Um, 230. That's over the green. Wow, this is tough. This is tough for Watson. <laughs> that three iron just gets him there, barely. If he hits a good one. If he doesn't hit a good one, he's going to be short. That's the problem, see? He can hit his uh, five wood at 230 and hope he hits it short a little bit. Doesn't cram it. Man, oh man, oh man, I don't know what to do here. Do I go over? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, I think he does. I think he's going to hit his five wood. I can't come up short. The penalty stroke will kill me. Okay. Five wood, straight on. Here we go. He rolls the dice. Oh, it's an 11. On his wood is a two. I think he's really going to drive this one. Takes the shot. Yep, 245, right 10. He's in the rough. He's in the rough at the very back of the course. And it rolls five. It goes 250, right 10, and he's in the rough. Okay, record. See, that's what I was afraid of. Now, if he'd hit his um, three iron, he probably would have been in good shape, but I just couldn't make up my mind. All right, here comes uh, Norman. Now, his woods is a three. He can hit his three iron, and that's what he's going to do. He's going to use his three iron straight up again. He's going to roll the dice. Here we go. It is a 14, which is 12. I don't know what that's going to do. Takes the shot. 205, right 25. 205, in the water. See that 205 didn't make it. So he ends up with a penalty shot. So he has to take that. I have trouble with this penalty shot thing here. So we're going to see if we can work through this a little bit. We're going to do an update. He's going to take this and it is water. Okay. And we'll record that. Okay, 
I'm going to pause here. I'm going to show you where we're at, and then I'm going to look up this uh, penalty shot. So Watson, he hit it. His tee shot landed back here, and he rolled an extra. Oops, sorry. His tee shot landed back here, and he rolled an extra five. So he's back here, going to make his approach shot. Norman hit 205, which was that five yards that I needed, and the 25 just didn't get him there. So, unfortunately, stayed in the water and it doesn't roll. So, now we'll have to take a penalty shot. All right. So, that says we did that. And down here, I should put in my comments that this is a penalty. Because of the water. Okay. So, now we have to do... Place ball. We're going to place it on the tee because we got to do that again. Record location. I'm going to see if this works the way I'm thinking it does. He hits record and now he's back here to hit it off the tee. Now, my problem is, and, and maybe somebody will see this and explain what I'm doing wrong. This is his second. He's got to hit this shot, but it already recorded it as a tee shot. Uh. So I'm looking in the book here. <laughs> and you drop the ball using the place ball location tool. So I'm going to place it there. on the T, which is the same as a fairway. When the record location menu opens, locate, select new lie, and click record. Now you have a lie type the game caddy recognizes. Unless you drop the ball in water out of bounds. Okay. So it says, well, if I close this, See, it says right here that my shot two is back here on the tee now. This is what's confusing me. Because <laughs> I'm hitting again from the same um, lie that I hit before. Okay. If I hit control Q, I go to my all in one menu. So I get my, my club didn't, well, if I hit my five wood this time because my three iron came up short. And can I do a knockdown on the five wood? There's so many things that you try to um, <laughs> that we try to do here sometimes. So a knockdown. Work the ball. Adjustments. Aim. Dog leg. No. Wind. No. Cutting caddy. Well, here's what's happened to me in the past because this is my um, shot right here from this tee. If I hit this with my five wood now, let's see what happens. But I think it's going to record it as shot number three and not as shot number two. So what I've had to do is kind of transfer my information up into shot number two and then erase shot number three. <laughs> okay. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong here. I'm just not sure what it is um, for this penalty shot. But we're going to take a five wood, and he's going to hit it. And it's a 51, which is a three. And a three is his average. He takes that shot. He's at 235. 
left 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 5, 10, and he rolls 5, and he's in the rough. Okay, so he's going to roll 5, and he's going to end up in the rough. Now, you see what it did? It put that shot down there. So what I'm going to do is move this up here, 240, 10. And I have T, so he, he hit off the T, slash, and now he's in the rough. Then I can get rid of shot number three. And there, I've taken my two strokes, and that's where I'm at now. Okay, so we go. That's the way I've figured out how to handle it. I know there's a way to do it. I just know I'm doing it wrong, <laughs> and I haven't figured it out yet. Okay, so we go Control Q, and we go back to Watson. He's on, he's on an approach shot now, 35. So he's going to be 25 to 45 on his approach. And he's going to roll the dice. And it is a 12. And that is 17 on his approach. He takes that shot. And that puts him at 205 right 10. Oh, my God. He's in the water. He overshot it. Ugh. He's got to take a penalty shot. So I have to update this one. He was at 250. I got to make a note. His location was 250, right 10. Okay. I have to update. And he's in the water. This hole is killing us. Record that. He gets a penalty. And so he has to drop the ball, place the ball. It's going to be at 250 right 10. Place the ball. And it's in the rough. And so now he has to hit the ball again. Okay, so I can't afford to keep going over these things here because you never know. He's he's um, 35. He's going to make this. He's going to use this 15 to 20 and try to get on this daggone green here. So he's going to roll. He gets a 56 on his approach, which is a 5. Takes the shot. It puts him at 215 center line. 5, 10, 15. He'll be on the green and one straight away. And he's eight foot away. So he's ball on the green. Right there. So he went in the water. But this shot here should have been... Two fifteen five. Now he's on the green. Oops. Enter. Oops. Enter. We're gonna race shot four. All right, he's at eight feet. He's on the green. Don't clear the putting distance. Thank you. All right. Oh, my gosh. He got on there finally. Okay. Control Q. Back here at Norman. He's at 30. I'm going to use my 15 to 20 approach with him, too, because I'm not going to put him in the water again. He rolls the die. It's a 44. And on his approach is a 3. 
takes that shot, puts him at 215, right five. Five, 10, 15, right five. He's on the pin. There it is. It's a three foot. Ball on green. Okay. Whew. And now we go putting boards. This was a horrible hole. Horrible for both, both golfers. All right. Watson's at eight feet. He's going to try to sink his putt. He rolls. This is a 44 for his putt. Is a six on eight feet. That's in. So he one puts it. And Norman, putting from three feet, a 23 is 21 from three feet. He's in. Okay. We transfer. So on this par three, he shoots four strokes. And he gets a penalty, and he one putts. And Watson shoots a four. He gets a penalty shot, and he one putts. So they both bogeyed. They're both one over um, for the back ten. But that leaves Norman at par and Watson at plus three. Okay. Whoa. What a brutal hole that was. Okay. We're moving on to the 11th hole. Let's see. Both these guys, um, They, I think they both used their bounce backs already. Yes, they have. Okay, so nobody will be doing that. So we go to the Metro. Reset hole. Transfer hole. This is hole number 11. The wind is 62 which is a possible tailwind. Okay. So let's take a look at the course. All right, here we go. Hole 11, par 5, 507 yards. And you can see it's a straight shot. It's a little more room on the left side. And um, the pin locations here on the right-hand side. So, and there's some water over there. All right, this is going to be a long, long one here. Hit some drivers on this hole. All right, so let's start. Hole number 11. And Watson starts this off. He's hitting his driver. He might get a tailwind. He's going to aim five left. And here he goes. He gets a 55. And a 55 on his wood is a 3. Takes the shot. He gets 270, left 20. Okay. He's still in the fairway. And he rolls 30. That puts him at 300, left 20. which is still in the fairway. That's what he wanted. He didn't have any wind to affect him. So we update that. He's in the fairway. Nice shot. We go to Greg Norman. He's going to hit his driver. He's going to aim left five. And here we go. He gets a 55. And that's a two. Okay, takes the shot. He's going to be 290, right 10. That's the rough. But it's only going to roll five, and it goes into the fairway bunker. Okay, so he's at 295, right 10. And he just rolled into the bunker. Okay, so he's in the fairway bunker. Fairway bunker. 
Record that. All right. Control Q. And we're back to Watson. He is 225 yards away. He's going to try to get there with his wood. It's a four. He's got a five wood. Man, he's going to hit this thing. Five wood. See what he does. <laughs> his three iron gets him 205. She's so leaning back 20 yards short. He's going to try to get on the green here with that five wood. All right, here he goes. He's going to roll the dice. He gets a 21. That is a five. Takes the shot. He's going to be at 520, left five. Left five, and he rolls 10. I think he's going to roll off. Puts him at 530, left five. So let me show this to you. Let's see where we're at. Okay. 530, left five. Here's 75 right here. 80, 85, 90, 95, 500, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that's fairway, left 5. So he's off the green. So he's going to be in the fairway. Okay, so we update that. He's in the fairway. He rolled off the edge of the green. Go control Q and play safe or aggressive. Well, he's going aggressive. Max club is a five wood or four iron. Okay, he's going aggressive. Choose. All right. So with his wood, his four iron. Is a 195. His five woods at 230. That's the same as what he just hit, but he's coming out of that sand. It's a gutsy play. This is a uh, par five. Maybe we should lay up here and hit our iron. We're going to hit a five iron out of the sand and see what that does for us. Okay, here's his roll is a 42 which is on an iron of four. And a four is his average. He'll take that. He puts him at 490, right five. He's on the green, and it rolls five. Wow. He's 495, right five. He is ball on the green, straight three, diagonal two. He just, he, that, that's an incredible shot. Okay. Calculate that. He's at 79 feet. He'll take that. Okay. Brings us back up here to Watson. He's got a 20 yard approach. He's going to hit this, roll the dice. It is a 44. His approach is a 3. Takes that shot. He's at 520, right 15. Okay, he's on the green. He's five straights and one diagonal away. Well, he's got a long putt too. 
88 feet. Okay, the boys are way off, but they're on the green, and they'll take that, I guess. Okay, here we go to the putting boards. Watson starts with 91 feet. Okay. Well, we know he's hitting it safe. A 32 is 20 on 91 feet. That puts him at four feet. That's a great putt. And Norman is hitting safe. He rolls a 42. That's 23 on 79. That puts him at five feet. All right, Norman's putting. He's going for it now. He gets a 54. Oh, a 33. Oh, he missed this putt. 33 on five feet. That's three feet. Wow. He really goofed up on that one. Watson's putting from four feet. He gets a 43. A 43 is 27 from four feet. Four feet. Oh, it's a P. Putt for par or higher is in. Putt for birdie or lower misses. This is a putt for par. That gives him yes. So it's in. So he makes it. Wait a minute. Putt for par or higher. Is in. Putt for birdie. He misses it. He missed that because he's not going to have four strokes. So that would be a one. And then he's in. Oh, no, 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 no. I had it right the first time. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at the, at the hole here. He is in here. In. Yes. With par for par, putt for par or higher. Okay. Norman's at three feet. He rolls. He gets a 52 which is 21 at three feet. And at three feet, he is now in. Okay, let's go to the scorecards. Wow. Norman shoots a five, which is par. He did not have a fairway. He did have a green. And he one, two, three putted. Wow, that hurt him. Watson, pard with a five. He had a fairway. And he two putted. Okay. It's now time for hole number 12. So we go to Metro DC, reset hole, transfer hole, 12. And no wind, it's an 11. Okay, well, let's take a look at the hole. Okay, so we're going to the 12th hole, which is here. So you can see, we've got a dog leg. Well, it's actually a double dog leg, so we want to lay up in here at about 225 or 230. That would be the best place to lay up, right there. Somewhere 210 to, to 250, you want to lay up in there. Okay, and then it's um, be a straight shot into the into the hole. All right. Well, shots that land on the green or fairway past pin number one. Roll five yards along the center line. Okay, so we may have to add a course note for this one. It's right here. Shots that land on the green or fairway pass pin number one. Roll plus five yards along the center line. All right, we'll have to see what that means. Okay, so we go control Q. And he's gonna hit 
this is uh, Watson again with his wood. He's going to hit his five wood because that's about where we want to be. A five wood. And I don't think he's going to aim. He's going to leave it straight on and see what he hits. He rolls a 62, which is a four. And that is his average. He's going to take that. That's a perfect shot. Puts him 230, right five. And he's going to roll 10. He's definitely in the fairway at 240, right five. That's a perfect shot. Update, fairway, he's good. Throw Q. We come up here to Greg Norman. And Norman is going to hit his five wood also, which is rated for about 235. He's not going to aim. He's going to take his shot. He gets a 54, which is a 14. <laughs> Okay, takes the shot, and it is 210, right 20. So we really hit that one poor. He's in the rough. He's going to roll 10, which leaves him in the rough. Yep. So we update him. He's in the rough. Well, that was a bad shot. <laughs> Norman didn't do very well. But now we hit minus 10 to max work the ball on because he has a questionable lie here. Okay. And my course notes, shots that land on the green or fairway past Pin number one, roll plus five. So we have to remember that we might have to give him an extra five if he hits the green. Okay, past number one. All right. So he's at, he needs to carry 200, which would be his three iron. That's what he's hitting with, his three iron. He's not going to change his aim. He's going to go try the center line. He rolls. It's a 54. Oh, man, 14. Takes the shot. This is 405 left 30. And he's going to roll 10. Nope. I think he's not because he's in the trees. 4, 5, 6. Yeah, he won't roll. He's under the trees there. He's, he's right there into the front of the trees. So we take this. We update this to be under a tree. They consider it regular rough because he's in that first band of trees. So do we call that under a tree? I'm looking in the book. Players under a tree, if his ball is between one and two squares into the trees, that's us. Your tree may play safe by pitching back or aggressively using the center line. Okay. I would say he's under a tree. Under the tree, record. Okay. Up next. Tom Watson, he's at 175. He's going to hit his six iron straight away. His roll is a 52. Uh-oh, that's a 31. This may be trouble. Takes that shot. That's 400 left 20. That's in the fairway. It's going to roll five. 
and that's going to put him in the sand trap. So he's in the sand trap. Okay, so both both golfers having a little trouble again with this hole. All right. Control Q. Now, he's on an approach. He's going to play aggressive. He's going to use his 25 to 45 approach shot. And he, this is Norman, he rolls a 32. That is a 13. Man, he's getting bad, having some bad rolls here. He's at 420 right five. That's not too bad. He's on the green. And he's one diagonal away. 12 feet. Okay. Hey, he'll take that. Now we got Watson, who's in the sand. He's going to use his sand shot here to help him. He's going to use a sand point. And he is 30 away there, rolls the die, a 56 is a 5, takes the shot, he's at 415, right 5. He's on the green. And he's one straight away. Three feet. Oh, ho, he laid it in there. All right. Players to the putting boards. We have Norman. He's going for it at 12 feet. Here's his roll. He rolls a 32, which is 20. Oh, at 12 feet, he's one foot. Came up a little short. We got Watson at three feet. He rolls a 15, which is eight. That's in. And now we got Norman at one foot. A 56 is 24 at one foot. That's in. We go to the scorecards. Whew. Tough hole. Again. For uh, Norman, he shoots a five, which is a bogey, and he two putted. Oops. We have Watson, shoots a four, he pars it. He has a fairway, he has a sand trap, and he one putted. All right. Okay, he gained a stroke there on uh, Mr. Norman, who bogeyed that hole. All right. Well, now we go to hole 13. We go reset hole, transfer hole 13. Wind is 12, no wind. All right. Well, let's take a look at this hole. All right, hole 13. It's a nice par three, straight away. It's probably going to be around, let's see, 60, 70, 80, 90, 195 yards, it looks like. Okay, so this is pretty straight up. Let's see what the boys can do with this one. Okay, control Q. Watson's up. It is 195 yards with no wind. So he gets 195. And let's see, that last, he didn't par that, did he? Or birdie that, did he? He shot a four and a four. No, he did not. Okay. Here we go. Okay, he needs 195 with a four. That's his four iron. That's what he's hitting with. Straight on, no adjustment. Roll the dice. 
54 is a 14. Takes the shot. He's at 190, right 25. He's in the fairway, and he rolls 10. Puts him at 200. In the rough. So he missed the green. Okay. Update. He's in the rough. All right. Control Q. Here comes Norman. He needs 195. He's going to hit his 5-iron also. Straight on. He rolls. He gets a 61. That is a 4, which is his average. Oh, he recovered this time. Takes that shot. He's at 185. He's one diagonal. One diagonal, one straight away. He's on the green. One straight, one diagonal. Calculate. 30 feet. Still a long putt. Okay. Go back to Watson. He's at 30. He's got to hit an approach shot here. 25 to 45. Yep. He's going to hit this. He rolls. His approach shot is 12. 17. Ugh. Takes that shot. He's at 185, left 15. Oh. <laughs> he hits the sand trap. Oh, my gosh. Update. He went in. He shot over, and he went in the sand trap. Record. He's going to use the second sand trap point here. So control Q. He's going to hit a sand point. He's at his approach is 15. Rolls that die. It's a 33. This is a three. Takes the shot. 195 center line. He is five. He's on the green. And he's one straight. Seven feet. Okay. Putting boards. Here we go. Norman at 30 feet. Here he goes. He's putting. He's rolling. It's a safe shot. 56 is 24 on 30 feet. 3 feet. And Watson at 10 feet. He's going for it. He rolls a 16. 25 at 10 feet. Oh, he missed it. He's at 2 feet. All right. Norman's going 3-foot putt. It's a 44. And that's 6. That's in. And now Watson's putting the 26. That's an 18 on a 2-foot. That's in. And we go to the scorecard. And so we have Norman pars it with a three. He did get a green. And he two putted. And Watson, whoo, double bogeyed with a five. He had a sand trap. 
and he two putted. Wow, what a rough hole that one was. Okay. Let's do one more hole here. We'll call this one. We're going to go Metro DC, reset hole, transfer hole, hole 14. Wind is 11. No wind. Okay, let's take a look at this one. So we're going to hole 14. This is a par 4, 454 with a slight dog leg at about 240. Slight dog leg right, very gentle. And uh, let's see. A little bit more room on the left than there is on the right. Okay, so let's see how the boys do on this one. All right, let's see. Control Q is Norman. <coughs> he would like to hit it somewhere around that 240 mark. I think he'll hit with his five wood. And he's going to aim five yards to the left. Okay. We roll the dice. He gets a 55. Ooh, that's a two. Takes that shot. He's going to be 245, right five. Which is in the fairway. And he rolls 10. And he's still in the fairway. That's a great... Good, good tee off for him. He updates. He has a fairway. All right. Watson's up. He's going to hit his. Five wood's pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm going to hit the five wood for him too. Five wood. He's going to aim left five. There's a little more room in that direction. And here we go. It's a 23. Ooh, it's a 12. Takes that shot. 220, right 20. Uh-oh. He's in the rough. It's going to roll 10, which is going to keep him in the rough. We'll update that. He's in the rough. Regular rough. Record. Okay. Control Q. And now we got Watson here. He's at uh, 215. Hitting out of the rough. He's going to hit his. I think I'm going to hit his four iron. Straight away, he rolls. It's an 11. Nice shot. That's a 3. Takes that shot. He's at 415, right 10. That's a fair way. It's going to roll 15. going to leave him. He'll roll the full 15. And that leaves him. I've got to look real quick again. Yeah, that's right on the edge of everything, so that'll leave him in the fairway. Just stayed out of the sand. That's a good shot. Okay. Up next is uh, Norman. He's at 185. That's a five iron. He's going to take that straight away. He rolls a 22, which is a three. It's another good hit, but not his average. Takes the shot. It is 445, left 5.
He's on the green. One straight, one diagonal. 30 feet. Okay, well, he's on there. Back to Watson. He is 10. He'll take his approach straight on. A 55. That's a 3. Takes that shot. Puts him at 440 center line. He is on the green. He's two feet. It's already on there right here. So he's two feet away. Nice. He really chipped that one in there. Okay, to the putting boards. We got Norman at 30 feet. He's going to play it safe. He puts a 33. Oh, it's a five. Whew. He would have he would have hit that. Okay. It's a five at 30 feet. He gets a tap in. So this puts him at one. And then he's in. Okay, Watson's at two feet. He's going for it, of course. A 62 is 10 at two feet. He's in. So the scorecards. Norman shoots a four, which is par. He had a fairway. Get a green, and he two-putted. Watson shoots a four. Didn't have a fairway or green. And he one-putted. All right. All right. We're going to call this one. That'll leave me four holes to go to finish this round out, which we'll do on the next playthrough. I think this is good right here. So hope you're enjoying it. It's a fun game. I actually am having a good time with it. I like something. You got to break up the war game stuff. I know I got uh, some some uh, new war games coming um, pretty soon. First week of June, I think we'll see something. So uh, in the meantime, this is a nice way to break up uh, what we've been playing. Okay, so hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're uh, enjoying the playthrough. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next one.